life. Yeah. So, uh, he'll get the names right eventually, right? Eventually, he'll, yeah. He'll, uh, he didn't address me by my title. No, he's, no. He's not the first person. I mean, person. you are, you are a, a proud landowner. Lord, Lord yes. Yeah. Lord Toko. <laughs> <laughs> so it's funny with the uh, with the the audio cutting out on the mic. It mm -hmm. sounded like Beef was just swearing <laughs> and he was getting bleeps. Yeah. Um, which, given you know, given what we've what seen already, is, yeah, it's very possible. Yeah. So, I guess India is divided on this. Yeah. They it's, had two of their guys in there, and they they had to pick one. Yeah. So they picked the fox. They I picked mean, the fox. Makes sense. I understand. Some people are are tired of the rap, you know. Down tilt jab, the uh, the LD shield pressure that is not true. <laughs> uh, Pika can jump Nair out of it. Yeah. Um, yeah, you just have to you know actually do it. <laughs> yeah. It, right. it, it feel, Fox shield pressure feel, feels very scary though, mm -hmm. um, because if he does connect that jab, especially at you know, these percents like this, you're getting up smashed and you're gonna you're gonna die. Yeah, right there. Right there. <laughs> we just saw it happen. Yes. All right, so Beef's coming in with his fresh stock. Starts with single, single hit, hit up airs. All right, gets that downer. He's off stage. No jump. Yeah. Pretty easy edge guard. Yeah. Gets the smash the eye. All you have to do is just haul Oh, ledge. my this goodness. Is, just you do have to stay on the ledge. This you is not melee. Just, you can't just get up. This is not melee. There's no roll on and you still stay on ledge. No, no. Okay. Goes for the shine down smash on Pika, but all that damage there though, that was free. That should not have happened. No, it's all extra credit. Goes for the uh, the Derek angle there. Oh, nice, nice shine. No, you do not want to test Hipster in a shines. That, that is a very solid part of his game. Yep. If if anyone, oh, that was no dash on the up smash. Yeah. One thing with Hipster, he, he's kind of streaky with his tech. He can kind of be like the tech master. You've never seen tech this amazing, and then all of a sudden he'll just like miss a dash on an up smash, <laughs> and then you're just like, wait, what? <laughs> all right, zips I mean, to the ledge. That's it. Hipsters has switched controllers several times over the years. Yep. There was a uh, there was a Hori the last time I saw, and then yeah, in this and, tournament he and has then before a, that he was just like weird super pad <laughs> that had instead of a joystick it had like a, a cabinet knob on it. And, and then yeah, then he used Hori. Now he's on OG. Yeah, it's all over the place. I'm. Su I, I meant to ask him what the uh, reason for that was. Good combo by Fox. Oh, the up air though. I think when Pika's recovering from below on the stage, it's always tempting to go for the edge guard there. But they just throw out an up air and tails invincible. Okay, forward smash. He made a read there. It wasn't the correct one, but I respect it. Yeah, a lot of characters, you, you really just have to make a read yeah. on Pika's recovery, and then he goes for the up air there, and this time Beef went to the ledge. Yeah, it's it's a mind game. All right, throws that off. And the perfect angle from Hipster on the recovery. Hipster is, doing, is recovering so smart right now. And Pika is a character that... I think most people would agree it has the easiest time edge guarding Fox. Especially yeah. now, like, you yeah. just drop off. Yeah, that was easy. Ah, it looked like Beef wasn't going to do it for a sec. <laughs> Uh-oh. That wow. was a bad spot. Beef did not mean to jump off the No, like he that. did not. And then Hipster knew and punished him hard. All right. Gets the second grab. He's off stage. Yep, that's and an up all, there. There we go. And Beef just has to hog ledge here, not roll up. And game one goes to Beef. Wow. Yep. yep. And that's that is sometimes Fox Pika. It's just he gets off stage and he just gets hit. It's another matchup that at at this level is going to see a lot of back and forth. Yeah. You know, if Pika gets those grabs, gets those easy gimps, um, it's going to look like Fox doesn't have a chance. But when Fox is on a roll and getting those combos, yeah. it seems like everything connects. Everything works together with Fox, and then you just you can't do anything. Of course, Fox. The Fox combo requires many more hits. <laughs> yes. Some down air, some up tilt, some up airs. He wanted the weak. Yep. He, he wanted that reverse back air so he could up smash him on the top flat. Side flat, yeah. Or maybe not. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And he gets hit. And he, he waits and then zips to ledge. That was really smart. Sometimes if, if Pika follows all the way down like that, Fox can get a shine off. <laughs> like, Fox knows he's not going to make it back. Yeah. He didn't have a jump, though, so it yeah. wasn't really, like, probably on his mind at the time. 
beef goats were in uphill this time instead of running in and grabbing. It yeah. worked for him last time. Oh, okay. Interesting read. It didn't work out for him. That's a back air. That'll kill. Hister misses Beef. an edge guard and then goes for a ledge hop and gets caught. Beef. So that's like the fourth time I've seen him go for that that zip zap angle. Um, it seems fun and it seems really good, but when the other character is standing right underneath that side plat, it puts you in a position to get hit. Yeah. And a high percent like that, if Hipster up airs like you just saw, it's going to be the stock. Yeah. Let's see if he catches on to that. Lasers gets the down air. Jab down tilt. It's not, not, not true. It's true. But it, and he actually but, beef just held shield and it pushed him far enough away that eventually he could just get out. Yeah. I'm surprised we're not seeing any uh, shine shield pressure from Hipster. It's like one of his things he does a lot. It just seems like maybe Double he's just laser going to grab. Is this Falcon? It's really hard to do. It's really he's doing that angle again. He's just getting hit. Hipster has racked on a ton of damage Beef. just on this these, this edge guard. Beef still hasn't made it on stage. There, he finally does. Uh, but now he's over 100%. So an up air will take it. There you like go. Like you said. Uh, once, once the character gets into that range where an up air, like somewhere in the middle level of the stage, will take it, uh, Hipster's just going to start looking for it. Yep. He's not going to bother with all the other things. He, plays his, he just changes up his play style to adapt to the situation. Oh, There's the fan. jump there from Beef. That was to smart. Escape the shield pressure. That's how you get out. All right, just throwing him off stage. Goes low. Smash the eyes up against the stage. Gets down aired. Yeah, Beef really doesn't like hogging ledge. No, <laughs> it's not not his uh, no not his favorite options. thing to do. <laughs> uh, oh, misses the up tilt. Back air. That's another advantage Pikachu has. Is, uh, you can up B out of a lot of it. it's shield pressure and a lot of combos. Since, you know, you're invincible. Yes, invincible on frame one, I believe. Because why not? Invulnerable, actually. Jump there, Beef. That'll be two game two to Beef. So looking actually better that game. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Kind of adapting. Hipster changing colors. <laughs> Did you think, do you think he might have gone all the way back to white? <laughs> No, all right, he's going red. Red. The color change, the most unoptimal way of changing your game up. Hey, man, don't tell that to Revan. <laughs> <laughs> or Fire Blaster. They do it like every game. Oh, nice, gets that. Combo. Jab. Back. Up yep. smash. Oh, and, my gosh. What a combo. And those are the kind of things Fox can do um, if you're not DIing up and away. Yeah. You can just get carried across the stage, platform to platform. Oh. Oh, nice snare. It's out of that combo. Yeah, instead of uh, using the frame one up B, <laughs> he nares. Whatever works. It it did work at the oh, time. Up air just catches Hipster. Hipster oh, on the both very edge of the stage. Up tilts clank. Barely hits that down air. Gets the up tilt. Or sorry, up air and then the back air. That that'll finish the stock. We're tied at three. And the thing about Fox, it, it, even though Fox can be cornered on Dreamland. I mean, with the fastest initial dash in the game, he can kind of just run through sometimes. Yeah. And then get the center. <laughs> Super <laughs> unsafe laser. Misses that grab. And Hipster's Jump actually there. just too early on the down air. Oh, gets that light back air. Oh, that's, that's a punish. Forward smashing. That had to be an accident. Yeah, I don't think it was a smart decision in that situation, but... You know, no, I'm usually, not in top eight. Unless you're Kirby, you're not doing a whole lot of forward smashes in neutral. I mean, he just did it again, yeah. so I don't know. That might have been like an edge guard read. All right, up here will kill. The hipster finally takes a lead. Yep. It's not the safest lead ever. No, it is not. Especially 94%. as Fox against Pika, right yeah. there, especially. Yeah, so actually, high percent uh, being what higher up while recovering is much better for Fox. You just have more options. It's when you're at low percent, you you don't have as many options, so it's actually easier to edge guard Fox. Yeah. And you see, it took the third try for Beef to get. He goes to that same angle on the side flat. <laughs> All right. Up It'll work once. <laughs> yeah. Right. Hipster trying to go for it, trying to go in for a grab on that landing. And Getting those lasers. Up out. Doesn't he cancel his up air? But Hipster lands it up tilt. We'll see if oh, he can. Oh, that might. Laser jab. Oh. 
Interesting shield pressure. Pushes him off with a down smash. Lasers. Double laser, but he did get the dash in. Down Jab, up, up smash. smash. That'll be the stock. Tips are taking a lead again. This lead a little bit safer than before. Absolutely. He's going to wait out that invincibility. And it can be kind of hard to catch Fox uh, when you're invincible just because he's so fast. Yeah. You almost have to just guess which way he's going to run. Yep. What quick, an angle. Quick jump from Hipster. Uh, Beef was not ready to edge guard that. Very smart recovery. And again. In the straight oh, up. Not even BLD. jumping. All right. Tie game. Yeah. Lasers. Keeping him back. Beef is making his approaches. Gets the grab. Misses the follow up. Nice up air. Down airs through the plat. Gets the up air. Oh, Nair Hipster. misses the laser. Oh, forward air recovery. Reads the roll. Oh, runs off Nairs. Up he's away. Hipster Those backing lasers. off. He knew, he knew he wasn't going to be able to connect anything. He Couldn't follow up. Of an up air. Oh. Beef, flat drop, down air. Oh my gosh. And he tries up being right in his face. Beef takes it 3-0. Hipster almost had that third game. It was close, but... Yeah. Beef managed to silence his own state and let him know who was actually the better player. I mean, I At called it. I mean, you did call it. <laughs> yeah, we were uh, we were talking about who we thought would win. Um, yeah, I, 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 did, I thought Hipster I did think would win. the set count would be a little closer. Yeah, yeah. Because um, I know, I mean, I know Hipster could take that set. Yeah. 